In this video, I'll be explaining how to create a tonic triad in major keys and the meaning of root position. It's really important that you understand how to create major scales before watching this video. Please have a look at my other videos on major scales first if you need to. A chord is the name musicians give to three or more notes that are played at the same time. All of the examples here are different types of chords. A tonic triad is probably the simplest type of chord as it is based on the first note of a scale. And this is what we'll be concentrating on in this video. Let's start by looking at C major. In any major scale, so not just C major, the first note is also known as the tonic. So the first thing about tonic triads is that they are based on the first note of the scale. Let's pop the first note or tonic note of C major over here. And if you're wondering why I've used a semi-breathe or a whole note instead of the one beat note from our scale, don't worry too much about this. It's very common for chords to be written using semi-breathes or whole notes. So tonic means the first note of the scale. As for the word triad, you may already know that tri means three, as in triangle or tripod. So the word triad gives us a handy hint that our tonic triad will consist of three notes. But which ones? Well, it's actually very easy. We've already put the tonic note C over here. Remember, tonic means the first note of the scale. So that's one of the three notes sorted. Let's number the remaining notes in our scale. The notes we use to complete our tonic triad are note numbers three and five, which I've highlighted yellow. Now, there's a very long and complicated reason why we use notes three and five. But all you need to worry about is in all major scales, we just take these two notes and pop them onto our tonic triad. So note three first, the E, it sits on top of the C. Then note five, the G, it sits on top of the E. And it's as simple as that, the tonic triad for C major. Now, just a couple of things to note here. We've worked out that the notes in a C major tonic triad are C, E and G. We can't just plonk these notes onto the stave in any order. Although each of these examples contain just the notes C, E and G, they would all be unacceptable. It's very important that the tonic sits at the bottom. More about this in a moment. Note number three of the scale, the note E in C major, sits immediately above the tonic. And note number five of the scale, the note G in C major, sits immediately above note number three. If it helps to visualize how the notes should sit on top of each other, let's just remove the stave from the correct answers. The remaining notes look like three balls balanced very carefully on top of each other. They must always be stacked on top of each other like this. If I take away the staves for our incorrect examples, you'll see that some of the notes look like they are floating in mid-air. Always make sure that when writing a tonic triad that they must always sit neatly on top of each other. Let's move these tonic triad instructions to the bottom of the screen to help us with our next example. Let's have a look at a tonic triad for another key, D major. Here's our scale of D major and I've numbered each note of the scale. We take note number one, the tonic, which is note D, and place it at the bottom of our tonic triad. Step one of our instructions completed. Step two, we take note number three from our scale. Note number three is F sharp. Now, don't forget to keep one eye on the key signature. Lots of students forget to do this, and as a result, would pop an F rather than an F sharp into their tonic triad. Let's add the F sharp to our tonic triad, ensuring it sits immediately on top of the tonic. Step two of our instructions complete. Step three, we take note five, the A, and we pop that onto our tonic triad. Step three complete, but let's just take the stave away to ensure that they look like balancing balls. They do. Here's our tonic triad for D major, D, F sharp, and A. Before we tackle one final example, I just want to explain the meaning of the phrase root position. It's quite common for musicians to refer to tonic triads, or indeed any other type of chord, as being in root position. All this means is that the tonic is at the very bottom of the chord, like the examples we've been looking at. 
There are ways in which you can move the tonic so it appears elsewhere in the chord. Musicians call these inversions and I do look at inversions in another video. So just be aware that if you're asked to play or write a tonic triad in root position, it merely means ensure that the tonic is at the bottom of the chord. To end, let's attempt a typical music theory exam question. Draw the tonic triad of F major in root position. Include the key signature in your answer. Here's a scale of F major and we still tackle the question in the same way as we would normally by following the instructions at the bottom of the screen. However, this time the question asks us to include the key signature of F major. Now, I'm not going to explain all the rules about key signatures in this video. If you need to, have a look at my other videos about key signatures. But we do need to add another step in our instruction list to ensure we tackle the question properly. I've added include the key signature if required. So straight away, we pop in the key signature of F major, one flat, the B flat onto the tonic triad. Step one, complete. Step two, we then take the tonic note the F and pop it at the bottom of our tonic triad. By placing it at the bottom, we are also ensuring that the chord is in root position. Step two, complete. Step three, note three is A. We pop that onto our tonic triad. Step three, complete. Step four, note five is C and we add that to our tonic triad. Step four complete, but let's just check that all three notes are balancing nicely on top of each other. They are. So here's our tonic triad for F major in root position with key signature. I do hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching.